This walk is going to take us to a beautiful place. And uh, at the same time, we're going to bring some light to a forgotten corner of Streatham's history. When we talk about Streatham, the first thing that uh, people associate with it, it's um, the High Street, which was named in 2002 by a BBC4 radio programme poll as the worst street in Britain. However, during the Victorian time, Streatham was um, known as the West End of South London. If you want to know how it got to the title of the worst road in the UK, have a look at the other videos um, about Streatham history linked here. In this video, we will explore together um, Streatham Common. Streatham Common is a large open space on the southern edge of Streatham, in the London borough of Lambeth. As most of those who live or are from Streatham, and also a few visitors know, tucked away on top of Streatham Common, there is a tranquil escape from what is often a busy area with lots going on. So we make our way through the casual sunbathers, footballers and um, groups of uh, younger kids who will normally occupy the bottom and uh, middle terraces and we set our sights beyond the tufts of tree that line the hill's crest. At the midway point of the ascent, if you look on the right, beyond the rooftops and chimneys of the elegant houses which line the common, and you will get um, a view of the shining tower blocks of Croydon, about um, five miles away, but very different from what we are about to see. On reaching the summit, you'll pass the cafe to then reach the entrance to the rickery, a charming hillside garden once attached to a house of that name that uh, was pulled down by London County Council when it acquired the estate in um, 1912. The sloping lawn where outdoor plays and concerts take place in summer is dominated by an enormous cedar planted more than 200 years ago and this is one of the oldest in England. Head is one of the television masts of Crystal Palace. make our way down the slope and follow the paths around the formal gardens. One is a rock garden with a pool, a strand, lilies, heathers and a giant ganera. Next to it is the flower garden, a bright mix of busy lilies, tobacco plants, hollyoaks, Pastors and um, Radbikia. Here there is another pool, close to it, the first clue to the garden's origins. A well is on the site of one of the mineral springs discovered in um, 1659, briefly turning the village of Streatham into a fashionable spa. It was said that one glass was as good for you as three of the rival Epsom salts. The rickery was originally called Well House, and people taking the waters could also rent rooms. The gardens created by later owners 
have been kept as they were in the 19th century, including the white garden at the foot of the slope, where only white flowers are grown. It was laid out for a Victorian family wedding and um, in the inner war um, period, it was um, often visited by Queen Mary, the wife of King George V. We're going to leave the rookery by the gate at the end of the White Garden. And we make a sharp turn left by the tennis court, keeping the hedge on our left. Soon you cross the borough boundary of Lambeth and Croydon by a red brick gatehouse. Just beyond, on the right, is the back of Norwood Grove, one of the few survivors of the grand country houses that were a feature of Streatham and Norwood until they were swallowed up in the London sprawl of the late 19th century. It became public property in 1926. The rookery and the adjoining hilly four acres field was purchased by public subscription in 1911 to save the site from residential development, presented to the London County Council and opened as a public park in 1913. The southeast end of Streatham Common and the Rookery um, going to join together with Norwich Grove within the London Borough of Croydon. The appeal committee that had bought the Rookery was reformed in 1923 to save Norwich Grove from development. And now 
There is um, an almost continuous series of green spaces along the ridge line from Streatham to Crystal Palace. We come out of the woods and we soon lead back to Streatham Common. Crossing the road to walk along the, the grass back to the open space of Stratham Common. <laughs> 